What's up, everybody? Sadeep Tuma back here with another NBA draft player breakdown. This time we're looking at Jalen Williams. A very interesting prospect who ended up being a lottery pick on draft night. Um, 12th overall to the Oklahoma City Thunder. Obviously, this is a guy that was shooting up draft boards after the combine. His measurables are, you know, off the charts. I mean, he's got absurdly long arms. Uh, at 6'6", uh, 195, debatably. Some places say he's 210. 7'2", uh, wingspan, 8'10", standing reach. All those numbers are just ridiculous for uh, a guard. A lot of big men don't even have that wingspan. So it, it's pretty impressive, and you see him use it, utilize it pretty well. But overall, this guy had a great junior year up to 18 points a game, 51% shooting, almost 40% from three. Uh, he was a lot more productive. All his averages went up, four rebounds, four assists. He did, did a pretty good job overall. But I think his, his combine numbers and his uh, overall measurables definitely had a lot to do with his draft stock going up. And and now he's a uh, lottery pick on you know a promising, long, grueling, rebuilding team for the Oklahoma City Thunder. But he's a guy that obviously I, don't, I wouldn't consider him raw. But he definitely has some room to improve, and he's. He, but he does some things that are very interesting, and some things that are very good. So let's start out with his three-point shooting. Yeah, really upped his average to, like I said, thirty-nine point six percent from three. Uh, doesn't have you know the craziest range in the world. Shoots pretty good off the dribble. Can create. Works very well in pick and rolls. But you see his ability to create a little bit. Like I said, does not come up crazy range. He's going to shoot from too far back a lot of times. But shoots efficiently. He doesn't shoot a lot of attempts. Only 3.2 this past season. Definitely his best three-point shooting percentage of all three years. Improved drastically. His mechanics are pretty solid. Doesn't have the highest release point in the world. Uh, but overall, gets the ball up pretty efficiently, pretty well. And you see the way he's able to create space. So we start out here. Him bringing the ball up. Semi-transition. Gets there right now. Chad Holmgren is now going to be switched on to him, and this is what I like really well. His ability to obviously he does a very good job in pick and rolls, but another thing he does is when it's not a pick and roll and he gets a switch, he sizes up big men pretty well and attacks whether it's going downhill or for a pull up. And he has very good handles. Uh, he he's got a very tight handle on the ball. Combine move very well. It's pretty crafty, and you see that. And his pace and his start stop ability is really his. Uh, very very you know reputable quality but over here you see him just be able to um, create space off that little step back you see that dribble and you see how far back Chet's about to get swung back right and obviously you know Chet's a big man he's more worried about being beaten on the drive but you see that just that crossover and see how far back that's more than enough space and again gets the ball up pretty quickly pretty well not super fast you know not a Steph Curry release or something but uh, does a good job, and we'll see that in full speed. So over here, brings it down, a right, couple drills, crossover, gets so much space, and does it. And that that aspect is awesome. Over here, you see again another semi transition, brings the ball down, uh, dribbling down here, just settles into space, pops up, shoots, simple, easy. And then over here, here you're gonna see him shoot from a little more range, right here. But again, this is just. Um, being in the spot of opportunities, being ready, because he's able to, he, he shows that he's very versatile and able to do a bunch of different things, and we'll touch on that as we go along, but he, he's definitely a combo guard who's able to play both those sort of roles, um, but also he's able to probably play as, you know, a wing, an off-ball wing, a scoring guard, a uh, guy who's cutting, a guy who's screening a little bit, we'll see that, uh, but right now, you see him here, just a spot up right there at the top, uh, as this play starts going on, and that 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 dude right there gets pulled in. Um, Jalen Williams up there, ready for the catch. Gets in space, got enough space, pulls up from range and knocks it down. And you see him here, right? With his mechanics, uh, once you break it down, catches that ball there, right? Good shooting pocket, pulls the ball up again. Not the highest release point, but he gets it up there and he shoots pretty well. And hopefully that can translate to the next level because that's going to be big considering he's not the most athletic guy in the world. And we'll, we'll touch on that also. Um, right now we'll take a look at his mid-range ability. Over here gets that ball. Right, and then from here he's got the space. His man's locking behind a little bit. And he just goes downhill. Defense collapse and he just settles in and pulls up. And you'll see a very good pull-up ability. Hits at a high clip for him. Um, and his ability to get into spots, 
to contort his body to hit off balance jumpers to create some space with a step back and over here Aegis settles in pops up elevates and fade away and then knocks it down over here now you got that and then here he he is very good in that pick and roll situation um definitely one of the most efficient pick and roll creators in college basketball uh, as both a scorer and a playmaker we'll see the playmaking also but he's just very good in scenarios and a lot of that is his feel you see an obscenely high iq from him um good feel for the game very good shot selection makes smart decisions doesn't force up bad shots and he uses his body well to shield away defenders as you'll see here right goes down and you see a defender on his back he slows down gets that little spot little pump fake beautiful get has great footwork which is definitely his redeeming quality if you want to pick one uh which you'll see as we go on but over here right right here right he slows down for a second just gets that defender to come off and then he's just snaking his way through gets that spot and then once he feels it he goes and pump fakes knows this is very very savvy right getting that defender to jump over him and then from there he just fades away and that's just the skill to be able to hit that and then over here right over here man stays with them sticks with them and then just elevates and i love that that's like we used to see that from clay thompson all the time in his heyday right just just has the size to elevate over smaller shooting guards um over smaller wings and just pull up and over here right guy doesn't get fooled is playing off a little bit so william just gets downhill and at this point he's just backing him down right smaller guy on him just keeps going and at this point right here first off that's a difficult angle right you're contorting your body far away and then also um you're leaning away and then just elevating over because you know that he's not gonna block it i mean you see where he is right now pulls up great hit that's that's very talented over here you can see him with that little pick they try to trap it a little bit he rejects the screen play goes right rejects it goes to the left and over here again high degree of difficulty when he's here, right? I mean, first he's jumping in the air, fading toward the left, on the move, hitting that while maintaining good body control, very good body control. That's the stuff you see. That's that's great. I mean, you love that in the mid range. You see the, just the savviness, the ability to hit. Then, now we touch on his athleticism. I said not the most athletic guy in the world. Has good burst, I think. Um, shows very good start stop ability. I think that helps him a lot. Great pace to his game. Again, not the most athletic, but you see with his size, with his intensity use tries to use a little bit of power um and he does struggle to finish we'll, we'll touch on that after but there are some things he does very well and we'll see that here so off of this gets a little switch right onto chet holmgren once again then you see here crossovers a little move goes in the chest and then that's just the beautiful footwork right that little up and under right see him he's, he's as he starts going out that left hand just a little fake chet goes flying and then the footwork the balance and then go easy it's not easy, but but he makes it look easy. And over here, right, gets the ball now. And over here, right, the switch, what I was talking about. Now he's got the switch. Now he can attack downhill on Drew Timmy, who's a lot more slow-footed than Chad Holmgren. Over here, a little in-and-out move. Goes slithery. You see that little slipperiness when he starts getting downhill. And he's got a bunch of those moves. He's very good, great with the hesitation. That in-and-out move is pretty effective, too. You see him go, and then craftiness, staying low to the ground and finishing through and this is a partial play because most of the tv broadcast was cut but you see from the point we can see it right here right so you got him right here and then just see him and you'll watch the little hesitation and how he goes score so you'll see in real time first right go stop and then go now as we break that down a little bit you see him right here right so right now what you're going to watch is um First off, Chet is blocked off, right? So now you got his defender, uh, as in Jalen Williams' defender right here. So you see him with that little hesitation, and just because of that, he's able to dust him right off. That's how you make up for your lack of athleticism, right? Being able to start stop. You don't need to be super athletic to be able to do that. You see him, right? Because right now, defender's in great position right here. But because that little hesitation and just go, defender's dusted. Look at him. He hasn't moved an inch. And because of that, Jalen Williams goes, finishes the reverse. Beautiful. And over here, see him, right? Coming that little pick and roll again. Again, the little snaking through. Just feeling out his defender, and then go. 
And that's what I'm saying. He, he really navigates through very well. This is why he's so good at pick and rolls, right? He's not just going straight downhill toward the basket. He's finding the open spot, right? He's going toward the left, realizing nothing's there. But all in a while, when he's going to the left, watch where his defender is going. Right here, this dude, right here. Watch as, as Jalen Williams starts going to the left, right? His defender's following him, right? Now he knows, I've got the right open. So what does he do? He goes to the right. And a little floater shot put puts it up there. Scores. Just that feel and that IQ is really what I'm trying to highlight here. And how he d does such a good job here. Now this is from the combine. Um, you got him over here. And this is a, a very beautiful move. Also, watch him right there. A little half spin and go. And this one is very impressive because now you watch that little help defender. Strong side defender doesn't want to commit too much, right? So as Jalen Williams right here is going down, watch this dude in the corner. Now he's on the strong side, so he can only help so much because that dude right there is a three-point shooter in the corner, and that's a very easy pass, a very easy shot from there. So when Jalen Williams starts going downhill to this point right here, then this dude right here is trying to cut down, right, cut off that little lane. But when Jalen Williams inks that little half spin and stops for a second, Right. Watch watch his defender right here. So again, a little stop and then watch the defender. Now immediately he has to start going out, right? What does that do? That opens up this lane for Jalen Williams to go through. So now Williams can go off of that little half spin. Right. So again, let's watch that. Over here, right? A little spin. Go. And that's beautiful. And then hits it with the reverse move. Very, very good. And that's the stuff you really love. Now, we'll touch on his finishing ability. I'm not sure why he struggles finishing. I think it's touch a little bit because he gets the spots that are very fruitful, makes a lot of good moves, and we saw with some stuff that he can do. But And he's able to create pretty well, but I think his touch just lacks a little bit, and I think that's something where he can definitely improve. Um, so over here, you can see him get that ball, and then attack, go. And he slithers through, right? I mean, that's again, you see the body control of it, seeing able to mid-air adjustments as he's going, but isn't able to finish, right? Gets down there, is just not able to. And some of it just, it looks like a good move, right? It looks like something that is going to end up being like a wild type of layup, but nope. Over here, comes down that pick and roll, and then here. And again, you see that little pace, right? I mean, again, the burst, right? He's got, as he slows down, just ever so slightly, you see the changing of speeds, and then from here, it goes downhill, but again, isn't able to finish. Despite getting that little step on Drew Timmy. And over here, gets that crossover, gets downhill. And you see just a plethora of moves and then not able to hit that finisher. Uh, excuse me, that floater. So here you just see him again, right? Creating one on one as he's going downhill, right? The little bump goes behind the back. And then over here, you see a little hesitation again because that creates just enough leverage, able to go in, but again, not able to score. But you see the way he combines moves, how just, you know jittery in a good way he looks but still not able to do it and we'll see it now in full time let's watch this one gets that ball little pick coming and then again you see that little the pace the understanding and gets a pretty solid look and it's coming off just a little bit leaning towards left but a little harder floater than normal, but again, you see the traits I'm talking about, right? As he gets in, and then watch him, and he keeps that bit, that man, his man on the back, on his back, slows. He, this is what I'm talking about by navigating through a pick and roll. Doesn't just go at full speed, is able to patiently decide and manipulate the defenders by going at his own pace, and then able to get to the spots he wants to, which is great. And that's the stuff you love to see. Now, of course, what you'd love to see more is him making that basket. But that'll come with time. Hopefully. You see him, right? Guy got, got some back, and then he goes and attacks when he feels it. That's just the that's the IQ, that's the savviness, right? That's what great pick and roll ball handlers do. Over here. Now we're gonna see him um, right here. Let's watch him. He's gonna come off that little curl cut, pin down where he gets the ball. And then now he's gotta switch onto Chet Holmgren right here. And this one might drive you a little crazy. Right, gets him, makes him fall. <laughs> And then gets in and is not able to score against a Drew Timmy, right? I mean, right here, right? Watch that little crossover. I don't know why Chet falls or what happens, but looks great, right? Little ooh ah moment. And then he's able to not just, he shoves that shoulder and is not able to finish through. 
Drew Timmy. And this thing you see too much with him. So, yeah, that's something that you'd love to see as going forward. That finishing ability definitely improving. But uh, he was definitely a high-volume ball handler, if not just scorer, right? Uh, hit up, I think, shot about 12 field goal attempts a game. But overall, he was really a go-to guy that handled the ball a bunch. When he gets the NBA, he's not likely to have that same sort of role. But what was great, what we saw in the NBA Combine was him doing a lot more as, you know, a screener. That's why when you watch that tape, you see him set a lot of picks, which is, you know, a little interesting. But, you know, as a wing, as if he plays more three, maybe even some small ball four, potentially, because he's definitely got positional defensive versatility, which, again, we'll touch on. Um, but he's able to, you know, set some screens, do some of that stuff, move as a roller, which you'll see here a little bit, um, move as a cutter, which you see during his season as well. He moves pretty be well without the ball. He's got great instincts and makes some very good, very fruitful off ball cuts and just ability to when you're an off ball wing you gotta hit attack closeouts very well and that's something he does very well so we saw some of this in the combine right right here this plays going on right slips that screen very well and then goes and just dunks it and i love that because he's not just setting it and you know holding he feels that he should slip early and because of that he gets wide open right and catches it and just finish it through and that's the ferociousness and over here, you got him in the corner. As if play goes on, you watch his defender right here. Uh, play goes on, loses eyes, gets that ball, and then just gets fouled. Well, that's smart, right? I mean, it's again the the feel to play off ball and to move. That's the stuff you love to see how he's gonna fit in. Now we touch on his playmaking. He's great in that pick and roll. You saw so many examples of it. And he's equally great as a passer and a playmaker. Uh, four assists a game, very good, very savvy playmaking, very patient playmaker. Um, and his long arms definitely help him, right? You see him here? He'll get trapped a little bit by the pick and roll, but makes a beautiful, perfectly placed one-hand pass. So he slings those one-handed passes with either arm, which is impressive. It's them with great location, great ball placement. It's a football term, but very apt here. Um, and you see him, right? I mean, watch that arm, right? Gets that ball up, left arm. You see how high it is. And because of that, he's just able to sling it perfectly to this big man. Over here, it gets it on the dribble handoff, goes, and then the little pocket pass. And he is very good with that bounce pass, that little pocket pass. He's gotten very good with that. Over here, you can see again, they're a little longer pocket pass, but sees it, throws it, and gets his big man. Over here, you're going to see Gonzaga is going to try to blitz that pick and roll. Right with uh, Timmy over here, he's gonna try to jump it. So smartly, William spins and goes, and then from there, now this is great, right? Watch him back down, the man. Little shimmy, step, footwork, beautiful, dump off, because then he scores. And that's all the moves you love to see, right? When he's not, he's not panicking when the pick and roll doesn't happen. He's just again taking advantage of his size, right? When he gets down low, what does he do? Posts up, gets, takes advantage, right? Keeps bodying him down. If there's no double. And he's just going to use his move, right? A little shake. Gets a little step back. Gets the defender jump. And then step in. And then gets Chet to jump. And then dump off. That's beautiful. That's great. That's that's a great feel for the game. So you love, love his playmaking ability. I think it's great. His, his ability as the pick and roll guy is, is second to none for sure. Um, his rebounding on the side is definitely a struggle. Average four rebounds a game, but he really showed close to no prowess as a rebounder. If he it's not within his vicinity, he's not doing anything. But when it is within his vicinity, if he has a big man on his back or has someone and he's in the area, A, he's got the physical tools with the length to jump. He's got a 39-inch vertical, which is pretty good. Um, obviously, he's not the most vertically explosive guy, but he's a good, not great athlete in my opinion. Um, but he's got those arms to jump. And he, when he does, you know, fix it, and he's got the intensity, and he, he can box out well when he tries. And you'll see some examples here. So as this shot goes up, you got him right here. And here he's not boxing anyone out. But as that ball comes up, you just see the arm, right? I mean, this is just being longer than everyone and going and grabbing that. And over here, and you got Williams. So as this play is going on, you got this man over here, right? He's going to be running in. And again, keep your eye on Williams. So as soon as he comes in, Williams steps. Because uh, Let's step back for a second. To begin this play, Williams' man is right here. But 
he doesn't just lose eyes, right? He understands this guy's coming in, so he steps in, right? And now he's got a bigger guy on him. But what to do, you fights a little bit, and then watch him, right? Stick his body out, and then jump up. And again, this is a combination of grit, of fighting down there, and the length. Because right now, he is a little too deep, where most guys would probably not grab this rebound. But because he sticks with and doesn't give up any more ground, and then here, right here, he's able to jump up and above because of that length and grab that rebound, snatch that rebound, really. And those are things you love to see. So again, now you hear, have him here, and now he's down on Drew Timmy, who is you know, one of the bigger guys in college basketball, a uh, great post-up threat. Um, and now you see him fight a little bit, right? Fight for position, stick with it, hold him there. And then now when that pass is about to go up, watch him. He sticks his body out, good fundamental box out, sticks there, ready. And Timmy doesn't push too much, but... Because William's just holding it, and also good anticipation because you see him sliding toward his right a little bit, right? As that ball comes there, and from there he jumps up and snatches it, right? And way above everyone else. And this is what I'm saying. When he gets locked into there, he can be very effective. Problem is he's not locked in there most of the time. Now over here, this is what his defense gets a little interesting. He's got, A, the tools to develop into a great defender. Uh, he's got positional versatility, probably can cover one through four, depending on who the four is, with that length. And his intensity I like. His uh, yeah, defensive intensity is definitely impressive. His length is obviously great, but his lateral quickness can definitely improve some. He does stick relatively better, I think better than advertised in one-on-one -on -one situations. Pick and roll defense is definitely a place where he slips constantly, and we'll, we'll see that here. Okay, so you got him here. And then this is going to be simple. Andrew Neymar just goes off the dribble. AC Williams just get beat right off the dribble and scores. And again, this is not the same play, but it looks like it. Right? Again, pick coming. Can't fight around it. And then Neymar goes and scores again. Now over here, now the pick comes from the other side. Neymar goes and scores. And I could just put a whole clip together of a bunch that you see exactly like this where it's just not able to fight around that pick um and it's, it's a little bit of a problem but you got nemhard here and here he's going to go under the pick right and because of that nemhard a little crossover and at this point first off you're going to see him miss but these are the concerning moments of um when you're an evaluator because at this point when he's got this much space he's not able to stick with that much space most guys in the nba are going to knock this down not just the stuff curry's a lot of good and very good nba three-point shooters and from here, he's down to recover and contest some time. That'd be a basket most of the time. So that's something you don't love. That being said, I love the intensity. I love the length and the size. Um, and you see that here. Uh, this is obviously going to be a little shorter clip. The next two are. But you see him right there. Watch him just stick as, as Nemar comes down transition, right? Sticks hard. Ball comes out, switches well. And then he's just intensity, right? You see him crowd the ball, try to hound and harass a little bit. And ball gets passed out. Those are the things you like to see in those sort of situations. Over here, again, one more time on MR, right? Watch him slide and stick. He's allowed to bounce. And because of that, grabs a steal. So those are things you like to see. There's definitely that sort of potential overall. Again, the potential isn't the fact that he just held on to him for two seconds. It's the you know physical tools, tools that are there. But again, the fact that it's the awareness and the uh, active energetic defense, I like seeing that. Now, where he is truly an asset is as a help defender. He is excellent in this situation. I think he uses IQ again very well to understand rotations, understand help defense, understand when to go, how to go. And it's really a combination of that. He's got the length to make plays. You'll see that. We, we'll see with the steals. But he's also got the instincts and the awareness of when to break on the ball, when to break on moving, when to switch without getting distracted, without losing his eyes, does all of it to a very high degree. So right here, we start out, Williams over there on that weak side, and semi-transition early offense, you got Timmy down here, right? So obviously that big man for Santa Clara is uh, fronting that post, hoping for help over that outside, and Timmy's trying to get that little high-low pass inside. Um, and as soon as that pass is about to come, you see Williams, he's got his eyes, he knows that play's coming, he's looking for it. And then watch Williams just break on this ball. Goes, and because I grabs that steal. That's beautiful timing. See it one more time. Watch 
Can I break on it? And then go. That's great. You love to see that. Then over here. So as this pick and roll is happening, um, you got Williams over here, and he's on the strong side this time. So he makes the right decision not to fully commit and go down because you, you help from that strong side. It's oftentimes going to cause a lot of problems because you just leave a wide open three point shooter, a very easy pass. Um, so he does it. He holds his ground. He steps in just a you know a couple inches, sticks with his man. And when this whole pick and roll is happening, you will keep him. He's keeping his eyes active. His man on the ball handler. And then uses his length, right? And that's just again, that's the the again the instincts, but and the awareness of knowing what's happening, but also just the length, right? You see how high he is, just that length, and a lot of guys are not going to grab that steal. That pass should be high enough for most guys, but because of that, he grabs that steal and goes the other way. Now we start out with this play, and then we'll start with Williams here in the corner. So ball's going to get reversed back to the corner, and then over here you're going to see. Um, Chad, try to go post up, and then keep your eyes on Williams, because as Chad comes in, and that post is, that passes, or let's look at the post first, right here. So again, defender trying to front, so that pass is going to try to come in if if the entry pass decides to go in, but you watch Williams. We saw that first clip when Timmy was trying to get that entry pass, same way they're fronting that post, and Williams breaks on it. Here, he doesn't break on it because the pass never comes, but you watch Williams. Watch how, as this is happening, he's just inching forward, just very aware, very ready to step on it if that pass comes in. It doesn't, but he doesn't lose eyes. That's the important part. Because, again, that's one part of it. And he's not just fully staring at that. That's what I love. He's aware of the whole play. So his man's right here. But as this play is going on, this dude over here, or rather his teammate over here, is covering this dude over here. And as the play goes on, while that whole post up's going on, Williams understands switches, communicates it out, and now, as we're going down, Williams was supposed to be covering this guy, but who moved over, and now is covering this guy. So, that's the second part of it, still aware of all of it. And then from there, now with the Gonzaga ball handler driving downhill, Williams is still locked in the play, not just the switch, not just the post up. He steps in, helps there, and they're able to rotate enough, pass, shot does not go in. And, yeah, not the greatest contest by his teammate, but either way, Williams does his job and holds that area, and he's aware of all three elements, right? The post up if he has to cut, the switch over there, and the help on the original ball handler, and doesn't lose eyes on any of them, holds him. That's the part I love, the aspect I love, right? That's the contest, and from over here, the results in the kick out. And they come out with a W there. Obviously, I don't get the rebound, so not as much W, but it's the right play overall. And I love just that understanding on defense. And then over here, we'll look at this one. And this is awesome. Because this is not just, you know, post up where it's his assignment. He's just aware of, again, the whole play, the awareness. Right? As this is going on, this dude right here is, is doubling down. So Timmy, again, right here, is going to just dive to the rim. And William, you see him just break on that ball. And that's great because, like I said, he's not just staring at the ball. He's not ball watching. He's aware of the whole play. So he understands he's that help side defender. So when that die of that cut comes in, Williams breaks on it perfectly. And obviously it's tipped a little bit, and they call a foul on this, but it was not a foul. Absolutely not a foul. You watch him here, right? He gets that ball cleanly. But again, it's the instincts to just break on it. And I've used the word instincts too many times, but that's what it comes down to. And that's why he's able to excel in those sort of rotations and those sort of things. And you love seeing that as a team, especially in today's NBA. So then we start over here. Got Williams right in the corner, covering his man over there. So as Timmy comes in for that quick duck in, um, Williams, again, very aware, understanding that pass about to come in, very aware. So as it comes in, he comes and obviously gets knocked a little bit. But again, even after that initial slap, this is a combination of the understanding and also the length. Because you see him, and he cuts on that ball, right, perfectly, placed in after that first thing. Now you see him leap and able to knock it away. 
and you see, right, there's really only a couple inches between Williams knocking it out and Timmy grabbing it. If Timmy grabs that, he is strong, big, and amazing footwork, and he will finish through Williams. But because Williams not only breaks on it, he's got the length and the physical tools to knock it away, and because of that, creates that steal opportunity. And that's just, again, a marvelous combination, and you see all the things I'm talking about on defense. So, of course, his, his one-on-one defense will need to improve. Let's pick and roll defense specifically. One-on-one -on -one defense, I think, again, better than advertised, is able to stick enough. That pick and roll is where he's probably get a little bit exposed, and that'll be an issue. But that's something he'll need to improve. He can improve. He's got the tools to do it. And offense, he's got the versatility. His athleticism will obviously be a projection on how he ends up, what he ends up doing, how so to whatever degree. But you see a lot of the very interesting things he does well. And I just love his IQ, his decision-making. And he looks like a guard that could develop a little bit and end up being a very good player in the NBA. He does a lot of things really well from all three levels. <laughs> See about the rebounding upside. The playmaking is obviously awesome. So I, th I think he could end up in a good situation that can be patient with him. And it it'll be good to see what he does in OKC. But that's been the report on Jalen Williams. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Uh, please like and subscribe if you did. And hope you all have a great day.